Now look at part two. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear two colleagues talking about their staff canteen. What does the man dislike about it? I saw you in the canteen today, Bill. That's unusual, isn't it? Yeah, I try to avoid eating there. Why is that? You can't complain about the prices. No, I just prefer bringing in my own food and eating at my desk. Is that because it's quieter? It can be hard to have a conversation at lunchtime because everyone seems to be shouting. <laughs> I don't mind that. But I do mind not being able to find a seat, which is what usually happens. There just isn't enough space for everyone. Yeah, maybe they should start serving lunch earlier. Good idea. Now listen again. I saw you in the canteen today, Bill. That's unusual, isn't it? Yeah. I try to avoid eating there. Why is that? You can't complain about the prices. No, I just prefer bringing in my own food and eating at my desk. Is that because it's quieter? It can be hard to have a conversation at lunchtime because everyone seems to be shouting. <laughs> I don't mind that, but I do mind not being able to find a seat, which is what usually happens. There just isn't enough space for everyone. Yeah, maybe they should start serving lunch earlier. Good idea. Nine. You will hear two friends talking about a dance class they both attend. What does the woman say about it? That was a good class, wasn't it? Yes. Though I'm glad I'm not the only student who isn't too sure about what they're doing, most people seem to feel the same. The music's difficult too. Dancing to modern jazz like that is so hard. True, but I'm learning loads. The teacher makes it look really easy. I don't know how she does it, but she also clearly believes that we'll improve, and that encourages me. I like the way she reminds us that even the best dancers have felt unhappy about their progress sometimes. Yeah. Now listen again. That was a good class, wasn't it? Yes. Though I'm glad I'm not the only student who isn't too sure about what they're doing. Most people seem to feel the same. The music's difficult too. Dancing to modern jazz like that is so hard. True, but I'm learning loads. The teacher makes it look really easy. I don't know how she does it, but she also clearly believes that we'll improve, and that encourages me. I like the way she reminds us that even the best dancers have felt unhappy about their progress sometimes. Yeah. Ten. You will hear two friends talking about shopping. What's the man doing? I like your new jacket. Yeah, I got it in a place I don't usually go to, but I saw it in the window and thought it looked really nice. And you'd had your old jacket for ages, hadn't you? Yeah, but I can still wear it at the weekends. I love my old one, but I had to get this new one for work. I have to look smart when I meet customers. Of course. I'll show you what else I got if you like. I bought a shirt and a sweater, but not in the same store. Sure. Now listen again. I like your new jacket. Yeah, I got it in a place I don't usually go to. But I saw it in the window and thought it looked really nice. And you'd had your old jacket for ages, hadn't you? Yeah, but I can still wear it at the weekends. I love my old one, but I had to get this new one for work. I have to look smart when I meet customers. Of course. I'll show you what else I got if you like. I bought a shirt and a sweater, but not in the same store. Sure.
11. You will hear a woman telling a friend about a swimming pool. Why does she go there? You should try the pool in Green Street sometime. Is it good? I like it. I mean, it's pretty basic. There's no cafe or anything, but it's just around the corner from my office, so I can go most days on my way home. Is it expensive? No, I'd say it's average, but not particularly cheap. It's very clean, and the water's always a good temperature. You'd like it. I go mainly because it's so easy for me to get to, but I also prefer it to lots of other pools. Well, maybe I'll try it then. Now listen again. You should try the pool in Green Street sometime. Is it good? I like it. I mean, it's pretty basic. There's no cafe or anything, but it's just around the corner from my office, so I can go most days on my way home. Is it expensive? No, I'd say it's average, but not particularly cheap. It's very clean, and the water's always a good temperature. You'd like it. I go mainly because it's so easy for me to get to, but I also prefer it to lots of other pools. Well, maybe I'll try it then. 12. You will hear a brother and sister talking about a river trip. How do they both feel about it? That was great. Grandma loved it. <laughs> yes, yeah, she did. And so did Mum and Dad. I hope we can do it again soon. Yeah, but we should book in advance next time. We were really lucky to get a boat that was big enough for all of us. You're right. I'd thought there might be more problems, but it all went fine. Usually somebody gets too cold or someone feels ill. None of that happened this time, which was nice. I didn't want it to end, and I thought I'd just want to get home. Yeah. Now listen again. That was great. Grandma loved it. <laughs> yeah, she did. And so did Mum and Dad. I hope we can do it again soon. Yeah, but we should book in advance next time. We were really lucky to get a boat that was big enough for all of us. You're right. I'd thought there might be more problems, but it all went fine. Usually somebody gets too cold or someone feels ill. None of that happened this time, which was nice. I didn't want it to end, and I thought I'd just want to get home. Yeah. 13. You will hear two students talking about a teacher at their college. What does the girl like most about him? Mr Jones is great, isn't he? Mr Jones? Oh, our history teacher. He's all right, but I wish he didn't tell jokes all the time. Why? I think they're quite good. I like being able to laugh a bit in class, not be too serious all the time. And he knows a lot about his subject and things like literature, too. He does. But above all, he's so nice and helpful. And he doesn't mind if we ask lots of questions. He always takes time to chat as well. You're right. And that's important. Now listen again. Mr. Jones is great, isn't he? Mr. Jones? Oh, our history teacher. He's all right, but I wish he didn't tell jokes all the time. Why? I think they're quite good. I like being able to laugh a bit in class, not be too serious all the time. And he knows a lot about his subject and things like literature, too. He does. But above all, he's so nice and helpful. And he doesn't mind if we ask lots of questions. He always takes time to chat as well. You're right. And that's important.
That is the end of part two.